this is an utterly ridiculous filter. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, this is going to be it. This is going to be the filter. Hello, everybody who's joining. David, Amanda, Kari13. Sorry, I'm just going to, this is going to be loud again. I should have set this up. Ah, sorry. Cancel. It's going great, guys. It's going real great. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get this to... <laughs> on a stand. It's not going very well. I thought I, I thought I had it all set up. Thank you. Thank you, Dove Love 20 for saying that I'm pretty. Um, it's a filter. It's just a filter. That's it. Sorry, this will stop being so loud in a second if I can just get it to stay. Come on. Oh my God. I am not doing well. Okay. It's still last day. I'm not kidding, guys. This is not good. What? I had a whole plan. Wait, let me see if I move it down here. Actually, that's better. That's better anyway. Um, uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. This is my second um, time ever live. I think I did better the first time, at least with the setup. Um, can you say hi to me as S from Puyo Puyo Tetris? Ah! I don't remember what S sounds like. I don't know. You're getting dizzy, Dove Love. I know. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. That was just god awful. <laughs> but thank you, everybody, for coming. I'm signing more prints for every town for gun safety. Um, I'm signing these beautiful. Oh my gosh, they sparkle too. Not just me. They get filtered too. I'm signing these beautiful Maggie and Basha prints. Maggie's from. Uh, is the character that I got to voice on Amphibia and Basha is the one that I get to voice on Owl House. I have some such, such exciting news about Owl House, which is that TV Guide named it one of the top 100 shows on television right now. Like not just animated, like everything. And in fact, there were only a few animated shows on the list. Um, so it's really nice that people, this is the other si uh, print I'm signing to get today, which is a, a really awesome Basha print. Um, that says crushed my enemies didn't break a nail and um this one is by uh wait i just want to make sure i get this right this one's by the very talented isa Balical on oh my god look what it does to my fil filter does to my nose that's so weird um and this one is uh oh my god i just forgot her screen name sorry guys i guess i'm having a day it's very funny though Give me, give me one sec, just one sec, while I check this out. Um, evil Snot Bag. Of course, Evil Snot Bag. How could I forget the name Evil Snot Bag? Evil Snot Bag did this one, and it's awesome. And then I'm signing some headshots as well. Why not? Um, and everything is available on Streamly if you want. I'm sorry, you're gonna get seasick. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the link. I'm gonna put the link, copied, pasted, NVR. I, my, my phone isn't still in Spanish. Um, wasn't she from that Scary Stories ep uh, episode? Hmm, huh, Scary Stories. Wait, I'm going back. Scary stories. What's that? I don't know. Um, I would love to meet you since you voice Iris Amasita from uh, Ama, Amasita. Yeah, Amasitia. That's it. From Final Fantasy. Um, what is that? 15, right? It would be a pleasure to meet another Final Fantasy 15 voice actor. You know, I think that's a very, very popular title, and I get asked all the time if I would ever do signings for Final Fantasy 15. Um, and I totally would. Uh, I'm just learning how to do all this, so. Uh, did you prefer voicing good characters or evil characters? Definitely evil characters. Um, because 
you get to sort of, you know, be, say the things that you would never actually say in real life. Um, which is probably why people like the characters that I play because they're, because oh, that's my dishwasher. That's my dishwasher. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that people like the evil characters because they get to say all the stuff that we have to keep in our head. Um, or maybe even they think things that are too bad that even we don't think. So I think that's why they have a following. Um, I know I met Ray Chase and Robbie Damon, by the way, since Anime Frontier 2021, since they're the voice of Noctis and Prompto. So cool. I love Robbie Damon and Ray Chase. They're fantastic. Um, great, great voice actors and very nice people as well. Uh, he told me, one more fight, one more, and I'm a cha- One more fight, one more, and I'm champion. She's very perky. Um, are you doing any projects with Matt Miller? No, I'm not. I don't even know if I know Matt Miller. Um, how do you become a voice actor? Oh, Amphibious Scary Stories episode. Uh, oh, right, that refers to that that comment that I saw before that she was in the Scary Stories episode. She was briefly, yes, I think in like the background or something in the one in the Halloween special where the kids um, have alter egos. Uh, Polly and Sprig have their, I think, Molly and Twig or something like that. And they go to Anne's school in the story. And I think you could see Maggie in the background in that one. Um, Hey, it's AJ here from the last stream. Hey, AJ, good to see ya. Uh, greetings from Houston, big fan. I really like Houston myself. I haven't been there in a long, 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 long time. Uh, do you prefer voicing good characters or evil? Okay, I think I'm caught up. Um, have you ever met Cassandra Lee Morris? I have worked with Cassandra Lee Morris, but I do not know if I've actually ever met her in person. Maybe only Zoom, but she's amazing. I loved working with her. I think she's so talented. She played Leaf in Amphibia and I love her voice so much. She's so cool. Um, have you seen the Rescue Rangers movie? Yes, I have and it was awesome. Definitely watch it. Uh, tell the Crash Bandicoot fans about the new Crash game Coco Bandicoot spinoff. I, the sequel plan idea. Yes, I love this idea. I endorse this idea. I think I would love to do another Crash um, uh, game and I would certainly love it if my character had a lot to do with it because she's super fun. I love you as Bianca and all my children. Thank you, Shine Bright 07. Um, and let's see what else. Villains are like chess pieces that lose in the mental state. <laughs> Very true. Um, can you do Coco Bandicoot? I feel like she just kind of sounds like me. Coco. Basically, I, I felt like I felt like I was very myself in that character. I could be like sassy. I was very sassy, and she's smart, and she says like a lot of really fun, intelligent um, stuff. Also, Aaron Mathis, Matthew's voice of Cindy, who got her Cindy print since her streamly signing. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, hello, people from Houston. Okay, why do people ask? who Junior shot when they say he shot Marissa was 2.0, not canon. Oh, that's a, that's a deep cut all my children reference because I think JR shoots somebody at the end of the primetime run. But then we did this other spin off, like all my children spin off. And I, I don't know, I guess some people don't think, don't think it's canon. That's the first I've heard of that. That's really interesting. Um, okay, I'm gonna do, sorry, that's been killing me for years. I bet, that's really, that's really confusing. I don't know who JR shot, actually. I knew once, but I for, I forget. OMG loved you as Bianca, Willie Cubed says, thank you. I loved playing Bianca, and it's been a long time, but people still remember, people still remember that show. Okay, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do a couple of, Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Um, Donald Woolridge Jr. This is for you. I remember you. I think you bought the other print as well. Or maybe I signed a, a poster for you. Um, but now I am signing my Maggie and Basha. And I'm going to do it in black. 
pen because I think it shows up a little better, the pink background. Um, here we go, dear. Oh, oh made a mistake. Made a mistake. That's why I have extras. Because they know me. Uh, there we go. I, I started to write Woodridge instead of Woolridge. That was my mistake. Woolridge Junior. A special message from Basha. Um, okay, got it. Okay, that one's yours. And I'm not going to let it get smudged. They've got a system. Uh, what do you usually do to protect? David is asking, what do I usually do to protect my voice before a session? I try not to do too much yelling. Um, and I, I've been using some uh, vocal straws recently. Um, I got turned on to the vocal straws. Um, you kind of blow through them and puff up your lips and, or your cheeks and and mm, you like kind of touch everything in your range. Um, and I find that it really does open things up. And then I do some, some like other compression stuff um, that helps me if it's gonna be a very vocally stressful uh, session. Like I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of screaming. I, it tends to actually work. It keeps my voice in a good spot. So um, I actually recommend them. I, I don't do that for singing. I have other warm-ups that I do for singing, but for voiceover work, it's pretty good. They work. What's your opinion on the Muppets? I love the Muppets. Do you have a favorite, including one from Sesame Street? I mean, you gotta love Oscar the Grouch because, you know, like Basha, he says he says what we're thinking, um, and he's very himself. And um, I also really love Bert and Ernie because they are friends that really love each other. They just... They bicker and all that stuff, but they're there for each other anyway, and I just think it's a great relationship. Um, how do you still look 20 years old? Give us your secret. Again, this is a filter. <laughs> and I think it's even like getting rid of my wrinkles. So this is a very, very strong filter. This is not how I actually look. I wonder if I could take it off. I do know that I don't know how to, I don't know how to take it. I don't know how to take it off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I may have just figured it out. Wait, let me try one that's less strong. There, you can... That's more what I look like. But it's also annoying. I don't know. I was told... Ah! No! Horrible. Horrid. The worst. What could I do? Oh, that's no filter. Okay, so this is like... how I actually look. Which is... Um... You know, love ourselves the way we are, right? Um, but I feel like there was one filter that wasn't too annoying. This is the, this is the snow one. Sure, it'll snow for a while. Great. Um, uh, all right, let's see what else we got. It's your current favorite TV show or movie right now. This is an annoying filter, I'm sorry. Um, oh, this is very pride. I like this. This is good for pride. It's like I'm emanating rainbows. I'm into it. Um, what's my favorite TV show right now? I, I did start watching The Staircase, but I don't know if it's my favorite TV show right now. Um, oh, Hacks! Hacks is excellent! If you haven't checked it out, highly recommend you check it out. It's fantastic. Um, really, really funny. Power of a filter. <laughs> Like you have wrinkles. Mary Beth, I have wrinkles. Oh, I have wrinkles. Um, still gorgeous. Thank you so much. Who said that? Justine, hi. How's your family doing? Everybody's really good. The, um, 
uh, if you were here last time, you know that my kids did a lockdown drill and they were, you know, freaked out by it, but everybody's feeling not a lockdown drill. It was an actual lockdown. Um, but everybody's feeling much better than the last time I spoke to you. So that's great. Um, all right. This next one, Bosch's Penstagram, I'm signing for Lizzie. And could you please write on it, Grudgeby, Grudgeby fights for trans rights. Yes, I will write that. Great message, Lizzie. I am writing. Something weird about me is that I'm a righty, but I, I'm, I'm told I sort of um, write like a lefty in that I'm like all turned around. I don't know why. Um, I always forget how to spell Grudgeby. Grudgeby fights for trans rights. You know what I really love about Owl House? Lots of things. But I also love how it's a world where homophobia doesn't exist. Um, because uh, I just love that Dana created that, that that's not, that's, that's not an issue for the kids on the show who are um, LGBTQ+. Um, even when Amity mentions to her mom that she's dating Luce, her mom is not like, you know, at all phased by the fact that, that her daughter is, you know, a lesbian or bi. She just doesn't want her dating Luce. She's like, we'll get you a better girlfriend. Um, but I think it's awesome to have a place for kids where homophobia ah, doesn't exist. I'm doing so great today. Doing great. Doing real good. Okay. Thank you, Lizzie. That's a great um, message and I fully endorse it. Let's see if I can check in with some of you. What Owl House crossover would you like to see? I think a real Owl House amphibia crossover would be epic, um, but I would be, I would also be all for an, uh, an Owl House Molly McGee crossover um, because I also work on that show and I love that show very, very much. Real K Benning says, Hayden, you're a great actress. Thank you so much. And then BP Fan says, you are amazing as Queen Kiara from The Lion Guard. Oh, I like how she got an upgrade. Now she's queen. Um, and then Anime Girls, oh, oh, Kari13 says, please uh, ask me to do a Hitomi line. Um, please test your skills against mine. And then Anime Girl 619 says, favorite Owl House character. Oh, you're going to kill me with this question. How do I know what my... I like Ida. It's got to be Ida. Of course, it's got to be Ida. Because she's like a total queen and badass. And she's the greatest. Um, so yeah, Ida. No question. Uh, and she started the Bad Girl Coven. And I really want to be a part of the Bad Girl Coven. I'm signing this next one for Doug. Doug, if you're here, thank you so much for supporting every town for gun safety. And also for you know, purchasing and also for loving Owl House. Um, I'm going to sign this puppy. I must be feeling more comfortable live streaming if I'm going to be singing weird songs while I do it. Um, okay, who's next? I think I missed one that I'm gonna go to. Oh, but this one doesn't, okay, I'm signing this one. Maggie and Basha, but this is, does not, unfortunately, this does not have a name and it doesn't have any special instructions. I wonder who ordered it. Okay. Well, no matter, I will sign right in the middle because I'm not sure which character is their favorite. And I'm going to also write Maggie. I love the name Maggie and Basha. And I have history with the name Maggie because when I played Bianca, um, one of my girlfriends was Maggie and she was one of my favorite girlfriends. And I was part of a power couple, bam. Um, the hook, better for lefties to pull instead of push the pen. Is that right? Oh 
Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Thank you. I, I always, I say this all the time and it probably drives people crazy, but I'm not a lefty, but only 10% of the world's population are lefties. I think it's now 11%, um, but 90% of the world's geniuses are lefties. So if you're a lefty, lefty pride, man. Uh, Bruno Malbe, Malba says hugs, hugs Brazilian. Ah, are you from Brazil? I want to go to Brazil so badly. Um, the name Amity, Amity is also from Puyo Puyo Tetris. I knew that. Um, this is so cool that it doesn't exist in the Owl House. Such a safe space. Yes, agreed. And I think that's Natalie. Hey, I'm getting to know you guys. You all, I should say. Uh, hello, Miss Montgomery. Can we put in a song request, Justin? No, I'm not that comfortable. Would you please get some prints of Hitomi and May and S? I would love that. It's, you know, it's not easy. It takes, it takes some time, but I would love to have Hitomi, Prince, and May, and S. I'm, I'm actually looking, I'm working on a character array, which would have them in there, but it's not the same as having a special one for each of them. Can you please give uh, one, one, once more with photos, which is a great name, says, Hi, Eden. Could you please give a shout out to my mom, Kim, who was a big All My Children fan, as was I. Yes. Um, hey, Kim. Shout out from Eden. I played Bianca on All My Children, and um, I'm so glad you're a fan. Thank you so much for remembering um, that great, great show. You're my all-time celebrity crush. Oh, that's so sweet. Who's yours? Um, I can't say. I can't say. Well, we're in warp space. Yeah, sorry. Sorry if this is really annoying. You can tell me to change it. I won't get my feelings hurt. Um, I think I'm caught up. Fruby Land says, oh, Mrs. Eden. Hi there. Hi back. And then... Blaze says, you are beautiful, sexy, smart, talented, and you are perfect. Thank you. Can I just take you with me everywhere? What a lovely ego boost. Um, all right, this next one I am writing to, I'm supposed to make it out to Bosch's number one fan, but this person doesn't tell me their name, so I don't know who it is. But if you asked um, for an autograph for Bosch's number one fan, this one's for you. Okay, four. Not this one. This one's not for you because I just messed up. I need to um, be a little more careful because I'm, I don't want to waste these. That seems very wasteful. Okay, uh, Bosch's number one fan. This one is for you for real this time. This time with feeling. This time with photos. Okay, two. Excellent. I did it. No mistakes. Kind of epic. Um, hi, Bianca. How's Susan Lucci doing? Always a fan of AMC. Susan's doing pretty well. Lol, that pen print is hilarious. Thank you, Fruby Land. I just thought Evil Snot Bag did an unbelievable job. And it was, a, it was kind of a team effort. We were conceiving it together. She was wonderful to work with. Um, yes, I think my TV mom, Susan Lucci, is doing pretty, pretty well, considering. Uh, scribble scrubby paper for hand warm-ups and doodles. <laughs> I should have warmed up my hand. <laughs> I warm up my voice before I do voiceovers. Um, and then SD Sue says, uh, Mrs. Eden, you're incredible, you work on. The Owl House and Amphibia is the best. I love all your characters. You inspire me a lot. Oh, are we in hearts? Thank you. That is so sweet. Um, it's so nice to connect with you guys. And 
hear from you and you're just so thoughtful and lovely and you just make me feel amazing. Uh, Tisho Brighttree says, hi Eden, I remember when you sang with Elizabeth Hendrickson for good. Yes, we did a um, we did a concert for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS, which we often did. And, um, and we sang a, we sang a duet. We sang for good. Um, she was amazing. I love Elizabeth. I don't, I don't see her now. She now has the most adorable child on the planet. Um, and is living that mom life and kicking ass. But I love her. She'll always be so important to me. Basha, you guys aren't cute. I still have more friends than you. Yes, that's one of my favorite lines. I would like to see an Owl House crossover with Chippendale Rescue Rangers. You know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers was my favorite cartoon when I was a kid. Favorite, absolute fave. So I'm with you on that. This next one I am signing to Amanda. Uh, Amanda says, name on front, anything you like on the back. And then she says, I was really excited to see you at AVOX, but hopefully in other times, stay safe. Can't wait to see what you have coming in the future. Best wishes. Thank you, Amanda. That's very kind of you. All of that. Yes, if you hadn't heard, AVOX has been postponed. It was going to be my first in-person event since COVID <laughs> and also in years. Um, but it was, it was postponed, I think, for a number of reasons, including COVID and wanting to keep everybody safe, which I am all for. And I, you would not have seen this, this half of my face. This half of my face would have been covered with it. And 95 masks the whole time. So maybe sometime in the future we could do it without masks. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, maybe at least a little bit more safely when case numbers aren't quite as high. And then I think they had some partners that it just was going to work out better in the spring. Um, and there was like another event that was like the same weekend and there's a lot of reasons. But I was really excited to go to an in-person con because I haven't been I haven't actually been to one since I went to Clexicon with Elizabeth Hendrickson and we had a fabulous time um to Amanda right okay I'm gonna write something for you on the back um I'm not even in frame when I do that, am I? No, I am not. I am such a goof. Amanda, I wrote keep shining. I think I spelled it right. Spelling has never been my strong suit. Um, okay. Is there a way we can see that concert? Is it on YouTube, says Nat. Uh, great question. I don't know, does anybody know the answer to that? I know they put up um, to raise money during the worst of the pandemic. They cut together clips of old shows and you could like donate to get invited to a, like a live stream of it. And I think that was on YouTube. Oh, it might've just only been briefly. But I don't even know if that song was included. Um, so I don't know the answer to that question. If anybody does, please help Natalie out. Um, my grandma got me to watch AMC and it was one of the first characters I remember seeing. I love seeing you act, keep up with their stories. Thank you so much. That was Obrio. And Amanda says the concert is on YouTube. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Where's my boyfriend, Andrew? Nope. I'm keeping him under wraps. You can't have him. He's all mine. Do you miss AMC since it ended replaced by a cooking talk show? It bothers me that it was replaced by a cooking talk show. And I do miss it very, very much. And I hope, I hope it comes back in some form at some point. I don't know if I'll be involved, but it, that would be nice. Hey, Eden, shout, another shout out from Houston. Y'all should get together. Since 05, when I was like 14 or 15 years old, I love watching all my children and you, Bianca. Um, are my favorite. Thank you. Up there with Torsten K is Zach, I might add. I'm, I'm with you. He was my fave. Um, that's very good company for me to keep 
you're welcome. Hope to be able to go in the spring, but work and school. Yeah, I know the spring isn't great for some people. So uh, it's tough. I began doing an autograph wall in my room, adding yours when it gets here. Also getting more from Sissy and Avi. That's AJ. That's fantastic. Great idea. You gotta show me a picture when it's done. Um, are you coming to the East Coast anytime soon? Maybe, but I don't know if I'm maybe doing a public appearance. Um, my family is doing a bit of a, of a uh, reunion in Virginia. I am signing this. I'm not signing this to Amanda because I just signed one of these for Amanda. Ah, I'll get it, I'll get it y'all. Okay, this is, this one is for Annie. Maggie and Basha and Annie has no special instructions. Annie, if you're here. Oh, Evil Snapback's here. You guys, Evil Snapback made this incredible print for me and made all my wildest dreams come true. So please give, give them some applause. Please give them some applause. Um, uh, welcome. Thank you for coming. And I already signed one for you. I just have to get it in the mail. Uh, love that you get to Planet Comic Con here. Oh, oh, is that Planet Comic Con? That sounds really good. Um, I am doing Maggie and Basha for Annie. That is correct for Annie. I do feel a little scattered when I do this, <laughs> to be honest, because I kind of just want to be here with you. But I also have to like, you know, it's just not great, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying not to be hard on myself. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, Annie. Yours is going to be in the mail. Natalie is next and Natalie has requested just a picture. I think that a lot of the Bianca fans requested this because this is how you know me, not as the characters that I'm playing now. And I am okay with that. And yes, Natalie is, oh wait, is this Natalie? Is this the same Natalie? Oh, who knows? Oh, I don't know. Um, also live stream still online last time I checked. Yes, it's on YouTube. You sound just like S. I should sound like S since I voice S and I have for many years. Um, do you put ketchup on a hot dog? Yes, I do, Pete Curran. And you can judge me for it all you want, but I like ketchup on my hot dog. Um, bothers me too that it was replaced. Thank you. Hey, Eden, please ask everyone. N new Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yes. Okay, this is, ah, this is Adrian. Adrian really wants a Coco Bandicoot game, and I want one too. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I love your character without ideas. Thank you very much. You are saying it right. Um, I will, when they get here, I'll tag and at you when it's here. Yay, good. Thank you so much, AJ. Uh, I just got another one of your prints right now. Oh, cool. Thank you. Just search Eden Elizabeth and the Four Good Song should come up. Y'all are helping each other out and I love it. I'm very into this. I'm, I'm catching up, catching up. I'm almost there. Uh, what's it like voicing Kiara, a character from a direct-to-DVD sequel? Um, I loved voicing Kiara because I, I, she's kind of a Disney princess. Um, I very much related to the character and knew exactly how I wanted her to sound from the second I saw her, um, her character design um, and read the dialogue. I knew exactly who she was. I got her. Um, so it really made sense that that I got to play her and I got to be a part of the lion, the whole Lion King world, which I have always loved the Lion King since I was little. Um, okay, so this is, this is for Natalie. Can you sign both your name and as Bianca and can you add what you've loved about Bianca and Maggie? Happy pride, ah, uh, yes. Um, Okay. 
there's my name. And then I'm also going to write Bianca Lovely. Thank you, Natalie. I'm doing this, it's happening. To lose the human, but for Gina on the back. Okay, I'm gonna write one for Gina right now. Gina, are you here? Have you seen the Lion King movie from 2019? Is that the um, live action remake? I think it is, and yes, I have, and I loved it. It was so, so good. Okay, so I'm Art by Evil Snotbag. I'm signing the Basha Instagram for Gina. And here's the quote that Gina would like. It's weird that Amity hangs out with you now. Ever since Grom, she's gone soft, but don't worry, I'm here to show you. <laughs> okay, that's a long quote. I'm gonna definitely, this is gonna take some time. I don't wanna make a mistake, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to write, to lose the human, oh my gosh. Gina, you're hilarious. And then on the back, I'm gonna write for Gina. Great. And I'm gonna sign my name down here. Um, Evil Snot Bag is so genius because even if you put this in a frame, it wouldn't cut off any of the signature or any of like important information. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna finish that one later so that I don't make a mistake because I don't wanna, um, waste any more photos. Uh, Gina here. I thought it would be funny if Basha gave Liz an autograph. It's so funny. It's so funny. Okay, got it. That's why she's signing it, Basha. Let me ask you this. Do you want me to sign, put my signature on the back or do you want my signature on the front as well? I'm waiting for an answer. Do you remember that in Puyo Puyo Tetris S cries all the time? I didn't remember that. I didn't remember that. Anime Girl 619. Okay, I'm looking for Anime Girl 619. I'm looking for you, girl. I would love a pic of you, Eden, Bianca. I thought Kelly Ripa and Mark doing a remake of AMC. Yes, you're right, Michelle, they are. I don't know what the status is. Hopefully, things are well. Um, I am writing. One, I'm making one up for Jared right now. Jared got a Basha Penstagram. Here I go. Two R's in Jared. It's so funny, I started to write Basha and then I almost wrote Bianca because they're so close. And then what's weird about that too is that this character that I've voiced is Maggie. And I think one of the reasons I love the name Maggie so much is because of Bianca and Maggie. It's all full circle. And then I am going to make a Basha Penstagram out to, I don't know who. The name, the person didn't put their name, but mm, anonymous person, this one is for you. And she's, they say, uh, hey Eden, I just wanna say, I love your work both as Basha and Maggie. It absolutely killed me. Would you be able to hit me with a groveling line starts here? Oh yes, I can. Coolio. I always think about Bam when I hear the name Maggie. Me too. Do you like Sailor Moon? Yes, I played Koan on Sailor Moon. If you weren't voice acting, what would you be doing? Being very bored, I guess. Um, I, you know, parenting my children, which is 
super fun, but I also like having a job, you know, working and I like, I like having it all. Um, that would be great to see anything AMC again. I'm looking back to see. Hey, Eden, you're wonderful in Resident Evil 6 and Nier. Thank you. I love doing both of those roles. And I heard that Resident Evil 4 is getting a, a remaster. And then I thought, well, maybe Resident Evil 6 should also get a remaster. Or at least a sequel. I know they had more story to tell. Gina, Gina, where are you? Okay, you have time. Oh, there we go. There you are. Thank you. Hi, Eden, for my print. Definitely signature on the front. The quote was actually from the episode Wing Like Witches. Oh, I know. I totally know. I, I remember saying it. I'm going to say it again. Um, I just have to go back to where it is. So this is, this is the Basha quote, you, you guys. Um, it's weird that Amity hangs out with you now. Ever since Grom, she's gone soft. But don't worry, I'm here to show you who's boss. She's so mean. She's so horrible. Um, but yes, she would probably sign an autograph to Luce, not realizing that Luce has no interest in her autograph. <laughs> um, you'd be awesome to Sherry again. Thank you. I'd love to play Sherry again. That was really, really fun uh, working on that game. And we did facial capture. So I had to wear all the dots and stuff. And I missed the voice capture because just the timeline, I just, uh, the, sorry, the motion capture. Did I say that? Yes, motion capture. Uh, but I would love to do the mocap for her next time. Uh, tell them about the new Crash games. Eden, I loved your character in year one. Thank you, says James. Um, if you haven't seen year one, it's a really funny, uh, Jack Black, Michael Sarah movie that was uh, directed by Harold Ramis before he passed away. Um, oh no. Miller Low Life, are you here? Oh no, this is horrible. Now I'm embarrassed. Um, was it uncomfortable for you to kiss a girl in the scene? Not at all. It was very, very comfortable. Um, I loved every minute. Not in a creepy way, but it was really fun. Listen, will you tell Jennifer Coolidge, Allison Hannigan, I am not in touch with any of the people from American Pie, but I am also a fan of the movie and I love them. And Natasha Leone is amazing in um, Russian Doll. So if you haven't seen Russian Doll, that's another amazing, amazing show that you should definitely watch. Um, <laughs> have you worked with Lauren Landa? I don't think so. And what's my favorite color? I'm very drawn to like this color, like the color of Bosch's hair and kind of the background color here. I would say that that's kind of my favorite color. And it's, it's used a lot in Owl House art. I really love the palette of the show. Um, this, is a, this is a poster I messed up, so. But I love all these colors, all these gorgeous purple, maroon, jewel tone, wine, uh, cr you know, crimson. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. But blue for, for like interior spaces. I really like blue. I find it very calming. Um, all right, let me see. I'm checking in, see if I have more work to do here. I do. I don't. Did I finish? Okay, I have to do this one, but I can do a couple of posters. I still have to finish um, the one for Gina, but I'm gonna do that offline so that I don't make a mistake because it is a long quote. So I have this, this is gonna be next in line and I'm going to do a couple of posters beautiful Owl House posters. I think some new ones are available online, so it's not too late to purchase. Um, and I'm going to write this next one to Wargenshire, which is not a name I've heard before. Here we go. It's a brand new pen. I was actually waiting to sign until I got more of these gold Sharpies, because these gold Sharpies are amazing. You know what's not amazing? Silver Sharpies. 
the silver sharpies seem to run out of ink in two seconds. Alrighty. Thank you, Warkenshire. Oh, this gold sharpie's not looking so hot either. What is up with the sharpies? Killing me. I don't, I don't get it. It just don't look, it just doesn't look good. It looks, it's a brand new sharpie right out of the box and it looks like it's running out of ink. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'm gonna read some more comments. I'm watching from Tanzania. Silver Sharpies seem to dry out fast. Mary Beth also has that experience, therefore I must be right. Um, I bought a Silver Sharpie yesterday for some artwork and it ended quickly. I don't know why they're like that. Me neither. Silver Sharpies seem to run out and smear more. So I got gold this time. Eh, gold looks pretty good. It's Maybe it's just not looking great on the, whatever this poster is made of. It seems to be a different, like it seems to do well on other paper, but not on this paper so much. I don't get it. Okay. This is, I'm sure, scintillating. So fascinating to watch me talk about Sharpies. Um, <laughs> I'm really glad you were in American Pie. How did you get to be in American Pie? I auditioned. Basha commands. Great. Yeah, I love that color tone too. Oh, people are agreeing with me about colors. Um, do you do voice? Uh, can you do voice characters in the Loud House, SpongeBob, It's Pony, Nickelodeon Animation? Um, I would love to work on those shows. I have many friends on those shows. Um, what's your favorite Bianca moment? Uh, I mean, the most, the most um, impactful is probably the coming out scene, I would guess. I think that made a huge impact in the TV landscape. Um, yeah, but I have so many amazing memories of working on that show and with all those people. So it is kind of hard to choose just one. That one isn't as devastating as some of the others, which are kind of depressing choices. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with uh, the coming out scene. Um, I'm scrolling down. Mella likes to use paint pens for sh signings. They're really good and they, and they pop. Um, hmm. I should try that. I have some paint pens. I got paint pens, but I, but then, um, Sissy and Nikki were telling me that they take a long time to dry and that you might, you're more likely to smear. So I didn't want to mess with that because I don't want um, them to smear. This is a conundrum. Um, Whiteout Idea says you speak Spanish. No, but I'm learning Spanish. I mean, I, I've studied Spanish periodically throughout my whole life and I'm relearning Spanish right now in Duolingo. So I have this, the Spanish and the English um, keypad. Um, can you push for Bianca and Kendall Prince, Maggie and Bianca Prince? That would be great. We should do that. Do you remember Max Middleman? Of course I remember Max Middleman. I work with Max Middleman all the time. I love him. Um, that coming out moment changed my life. You were the first I saw say it out loud. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Um, do you do the voice of Con from Sailor Moon? Say my name, Tim. Hey, Tim. Thanks for coming. Paint pens dry longer. That's my concern. Mm, I'll get it, guys. I'm figuring it out. Sailor mean, Moon means so much to me. I was, I was really happy to be a part of Sailor Moon. I know it's, 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 you know, a really important, um, show and, it was so cool to get to voice go on. And then they did a, like a remastered version. And I came back and I, cause I'd done a few episodes and they kind of, I think compressed all the episodes into like a shorter version. And I came back and did an, a new one. Um, that kind of had the whole storyline in one episode or something. It was amazing. 
would you be in a Lifetime movie? I would totally be in a Lifetime movie. I love Lifetime movies. I especially love Christmas and holiday movies. And I, um, it has always been my dream to be the protagonist or the friend in a Christmas movie. So maybe someday. I liked my middle, Max Middleman as T from Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, me too. He's great in everything he does. Will this be saved? Yes, Muppet Fan 681. I can save it. And last time I freaked out because I like navigated away from Instagram and then came back and it no longer was, my video was not available for me to save anymore. But then I realized that there was an archive and I now know how to go into the archive and save it after the fact. So now I have no stress about this. I hate the sound of my own voice when I hear it back. You have the same feeling early on as a celebrity. I understand that every that okay so the way your voice resonates inside your head sounds different um than it does to the outside world so what you're hearing inside is like the internal bones resonating your voice so you people tend to think that they have a lower voice um than they actually have and when you hear your voice recorded you when you hear it the way other people hear it for the first time it can be very unsettling and a lot of people react um that they don't like their, the sound of their voice. That's extremely common. It's just something you have to get used to. And now I am under, um, I'm uh, under no, um, uh, you know, pretenses that I have a, as low a voice as it sounds like in my head. In my head, and my voice sounds very low and resonant. But I know that I have actually a quite high pitched voice. Um, I'm used to it. I've accepted it, and. Um, it just takes time. You just have to give yourself some time. Uh, okay. MuppetFan681 says, can Basha say, no, you won't. I can't hang here all night. I've got a life. Oh gosh, what episode is that from? I can't hang out here all night. I've got a life. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I remember saying it, but I don't remember what it's from. Um, thanks for answering your question. You're awesome. Thank you. I love the sound of your voice, not in a creepy way. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, do you have any fun stories voice directing the Owl House? Um, yeah, I do. I'm not so great at thinking of things on the spot, but you know what? One of the fun, one of the funnest, one of the most fun things is is getting to um, watch Dana in the booth because uh, she plays Tiny Nose and also Severine. And, and she's excellent and she knows exactly what she wants and she like basically directs herself, but I, I love watching her. Um, she's gotten more and more comfortable because it's, it's a weird experience, you know, and she's always recorded herself like on her own home computer. So to go into a professional studio and do it, um, it's just a different thing, but she, uh, she's fabulous. She's, I love the scratch that she does. She's a really, really good voice actor. Um, I know that she doesn't really love doing it, but she's great at it. And I love watching her do it. When did you have your first convention? I guess my first convention would probably be, um, Super Soap Weekend. That's a convention. And I loved going to that every year. It was so fun. It was at Disneyland one year and then it was mostly at Disney World and we would go, we got to go on rides. We got to have a guide and go on rides. Like we didn't have that much time because there were a lot of signings and events and the parade, but riding, I think I got to ride with Minnie Mouse and with Goofy in the parade one time. And, um, and it was so fun to be at Disney Land and Disney World. I love Disney so much um, and getting to meet the fans face-to-face -face was so exciting. And then also getting to go on the rides. Um, I wish I had kids at the time because I would have brought them and they would have had a blast. Which character do you gravitate towards more, Maggie or Basha? I know more about Basha. So I guess, I guess Basha, but I would like to know, I would like to know more about Maggie and I would like to know what happened with her journey. Like at the end, she's like got tears in her eyes and she's like, you know, rooting for Anne. And it seems like she's maybe not as lost as she once was. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I, I'd love to see more Maggie someday if there were ever, you know, more amphibious stories. Um, <laughs> oh, 
without ideas says, I'll be honest, this is hard because I don't much know much English. I should have paid attention more in English class. I'm sure it's very difficult, but I, if I were listening to a live stream in Spanish, I would be struggling to keep up or French or any language, frankly. Um, so anyway, thanks for being here and I hope you get some of it. Uh, what's my biggest insecurity? All of them. <laughs> what's it like to work with Matt and the entire Amphibia team? Can you tell us a nice anecdote? I love working with Matt so much and the entire Amphibia team. Um, anecdote. Well, I will say that I always watched the, um, the board pitch outs that the the board team and Matt would do um, when they would pitch out the stories for the for uh, you know the executives and before everything was approved and we could start recording and stuff um, and it was really helpful to me to see what the artists had come up with and I would always like scroll through the boards later but to see the artists pitch their own boards is different and you just get it on another on another level and um when the artists pitched out um the directors and some of the board artists pitched out the the finale everybody was crying everybody was crying because everybody was so invested in the show and so sad that it was over and also it's it's it was such an amazing joyful you know ending i think so epic in scale and hit every you know, emotional box and like we were all as fans of the show and also like, you know, as the, as crew members just bawling our eyes out. And then there's other level, layers of stuff like people proud of other people's work and had seen how far they came. And so it was really gorgeous, really beautiful. What's your favorite scene on the Owl House? I think it has to be the scene with Luce and her mom in the rain, even though it's absolutely devastating. Um, th those two actors just nailed it. And it was so emotional to record it and they just did such a great job. But I also love the scenes with um, with Rain and Ida. Uh, I, I liked seeing like them as kids, but I just, I just, I, I just love it when it's Wendy and Avi in scenes together and their relationship and how much they love each other. And I am so hoping that they get a chance to, you know, see, see out their relationship in a happy way. I don't know what's going to happen. This is not a spoiler. This is just me saying that I would love to see more of them. Um, and can he tell me, say, you just know what a girl wants, boss. Sure. You just know what a girl wants, boss. That's so strange. Um, which moment from either Amphibia or the Owl House has absolutely crushed you the most? There are so many devastating moments. Um, I mean, Reunion comes to mind. Uh, that, that episode at the end of season two, the season two finale, when Sprig gets thrown out the window, when, when the sword goes through Marcy's heart, um, and then, and then, and then like the finale episode when Anne's, it like disintegrates into leaves and the wind takes her away and we see the utter devastation. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just so heartbreaking. Oh, Anne and Spriggs goodbye in the finale murdered me. I was flattened, totally flattened by it. They are so amazing. Justin and, and Brenda are such good actors and they really brought it. It was so beautiful. Check it out if you haven't. Yeah, True Colors. That's the one, True Colors. That's where all the secrets are revealed. Whew. Uh, what was it like recording the crikey scene? Me Nikki mentioned she sort of cringed a bit when she said it. Totally. We all cringe, but that's like the whole point is that Luce says the last thing that you would want to say in that moment. And it's like, crikey. Um, she did great. It was so, oh, it was just amazing. I'm so glad we got to do that scene. And I loved watching it. I think it was less cringy watching it than recording it. Cause you know, it's you're very vulnerable recording these things. Very vulnerable. You, you, you have to be so honest with the microphone. The microphone picks up 
any bit of artifice, even more, I think, than a camera. I think even more than a camera, the microphone picks up artifice. So um, you have to be very, very real, very real. Uh, Harmonica 626 says, happy Pride Month, lady. Thank you for Bianca um, and for being my favorite LGBTQIA plus hero and the biggest artistic inspo. Thank you. I love that sentiment. Happy Pride, everybody. Um, I hope you all are doing something special to celebrate Pride. Um, it's just so important and I'm so glad you're all here and I'm so glad we get to just be ourselves and, uh, the many amazing aspects of us just let them shine. All right. I think I'm basically done with my, I'm not getting much work done, but I'm going to sign a whole bunch of posters now and I'm going to send them to the next, um, person and they will sign a whole bunch of posters and they will send them to the next person. It will all take some time, but my prints, my, um, the ones that only I'm signing should go out pretty soon. I think I'm going to get them to streamly by Friday and then they're going to turn them around. So look out in your mailboxes in the coming weeks. I don't know how long this stuff takes week, week and a half or something. Um, and a print is going to be coming to you. Thank you so much for joining and thank you for supporting every town for gun safety and happy pride. I just realized I don't, I don't know how to stop this. So, <laughs> oh, it's probably the X. I probably pressed the X. I'll say it again. Happy pride, everybody. Thanks for joining.